morning. I'm so glad the rain has cleared so that we could celebrate this beautiful park behind me. Um, yes. <laughs> We are here for a ribbon cutting and grand opening of the 4th and Rodney Park. And just only a, sh uh, a short two months ago, we stood here uh, to break ground with Rock Solid Construction and many of these same individuals who are here with me today. And we have been anxiously awaiting this ribbon cutting. And I know a lot of community members have been as well. Um, and what a speedy uh, construction process it has been. So thank you very much uh, to the team, team mostly behind me, uh, who, who are to thank for this beautiful playground equipment, etc. So thank you. So uh, very quickly, for, uh, Fourth and Rodney Park is the first of three parks that are being renovated uh, by a unique community-driven collaboration between city, state, federal, local, and resident partners. And you will hear a little bit more about that soon. These parks include Connell Street Park, which is right around the corner, as well as Father Tucker Park, which is up in the Little Italy neighborhood, all part of the west side. And we hope that you all are able to join us for the grand openings of each of those parks as well soon. Five years ago, improving the neighborhood parks and open spaces, green spaces, was identified as a top priority by more than 650 west side residents who took part in developing the west side revitalization plan. The community emphasized a need for safe, beautiful spaces where their kids could play. And we have heard that over and over again from our community members and residents. Now, backed by a multi-year grant from the Wells Fargo Regional Foundation, 27 Westside Civic Associations, community organizations, churches, businesses, and residents have been working together through the Westside Grows Together Network to make the vision outlined in the Westside Plan a reality. This park behind us, here behind me, is an example of the, community of the community developing a vision and working together to design, raise funds, and build our community from within. Residents from this very neighborhood, very community, gathered as part of a Friends of the Park group to design the playground you see behind me, uh, to select the pieces of equipment, and to choose some of the uses and activities. So if you are out here in the crowd today and you participated in that design process in one of the, for this park or one of the two other parks, could you please raise your hand if you participated in the design process? So I'd really like to recognize those individuals. Thank you so much for your contribution. So led, led by the community, um, Westside Grows Together joined forces with the city of Wilmington and was able to leverage close to $1.2 million in funds for the West Side's neighborhood parks and open spaces. This type of community investment would not have been possible without a multitude of key stakeholders. And bear with me, I'm going to list several, several uh, names of organizations and individuals because this is a very large group effort, um, very impressive. So thank you to the city of Wilmington, uh, the Delaware Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control, Senator Bob Marshall and the Delaware General Assembly, Representative Helene Keeley, the 5th District Neighborhood Planning Council, the 7th District Neighborhood Planning Council, the Nemours Foundation, the, the Center, Centers for Disease Control through the Nemours Foundation, the Longwood Foundation, Bank of America Foundation, the Wells Fargo Regional Foundation, the Neighborhood Building Blocks Fund, the National Park Service, Locust Partners, RAS Architects, and Rock Solid Construction. So let's get a round of applause to And uh, because of these contributions, I can affirm that we are committed to continuing to create safe, vibrant, open spaces for kids and adults alike throughout the West Side. So again, another, I guess, a round of applause <laughs> for everyone. All right, I'm, I'm almost done, I promise. But uh, in addition, this park would not be possible without the commitment of several key staff members and visionaries. Uh, Christian Willauer was not able to be here at, right at this moment, but her dedication to resident-driven community development has been at the heart of the Parks Project. Former West Side Grows Together staff member Yolanda McCoy also helped to shape and facilitate the Friends of Parks group and um, was instrumental to the pursuit of excellence for each of these parks. And I also wanted to shout out to several members of the West Side Grows Together team and steering committee, uh, Emery Marshall Jr., Garrison Davis, Vanity Constance, Jessica Hurt, Natasha Williams, Paul Callister Jr., and West Side Grows Together Steering Committee President Henry Smith. I wanted to recognize all of those team members who have made these, these, this vision a reality. So last but not least, I would like to recognize, thank, and introduce Pastor Lottie Lee Davis. Um, past <laughs> yeah. Pastor Lottie is the Executive Director of Be Ready, 
Community Development Corporation, which is located across the street from this park, and she has been a true leader and advocate for residents um, and for community economic development, specifically along uh, this 4th Street corridor. So now I'd like to ask Pastor Lottie to say a few words. So thank you. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, first of all, I really thank God for the opportunity to bless us with such a ray of hope. If you don't mind, I would just like to take a minute to have a prayer. Father, first of all, we thank you for this hope for our community. Please cover our park and our neighborhood with the spirit of peace. Please continue to speak to our spirit in the unity of our neighborhood. Thank you for the community residents for standing up for themselves to do what's right for their own community. And we thank you, God, for those who came to assist us. God bless us all. Amen. Amen. So, again, I always have to give honor to God because there's nothing that I do um, that I don't recognize him for. He gives me the strength and the wisdom. I thank uh, for all my the partners that are here, as you see, we have city, state, federal, um, private, banking, community. I mean, we actually work together. I think we need to just have a hand of applause just for people working together. And we have the high ranking officials here. And I'm not going to say names because I know I'm going to forget somebody and I don't want to do that. But I really appreciate everyone. I want to just say that the park is a testament of the success of community-driven development. And I also want to say it's a testament to local hire and employment. Please give a hand for that. The community not only uh, initiated the ideal and the concept, but as Sarah said, we actually went out and found funding, and as she said, $1.2 million of money to be invested in this community, which has not seen public investment in over 20 years. And we thank God for that. We thank God that this project is a success. Um, it lets the children know that they have not been forgotten. I talk to my kids, I'm working with a group. We call them the green shirts, but they're the neighborhood building blocks uh, fun, um, funded project, Block Academy, Building Leaders of Change. And I asked them what was the problems that they see in their community. And they said they see vacant buildings, they see prostitution, they see drug use, and they see crime. But this park is the beginning of the change of that. And it tells them that they are important to somebody and that they can be important to themselves. It gives them hope. As I stand across the street at the church, because I'm always looking at here, and I know Solid Rock, they are so glad to be away from me because I just look over here and I come over here and I'm asking questions and why not this and where's that and calling Kevin like look at my flower I mean trash can every detail is important because we want to make sure that we have the same quality of life and neighborhood and living as everyone else so as I stand over there I see cars drive by and they slow down and they look at the park. And some even stop and get out. And there was a big gate and they would stand and put their hands on the gate and just look in and look around. And then I would see people come and take pictures. Then I would just see their neighbors just keep looking and they would pass by and they would say, look at the park, pastor. You know, they would do this. And then I even was in the hairdresser, which is several blocks down. And they were like, Look at that park across the street. They really did a great job on that. So not only is it a statement to our neighborhood, it's a statement to our city. And people will recognize this. And we're so glad that Connell was coming along very well. 
and Father Tucker is next. I just wanted to say that because I think it's very important because we think of the park just being something for the children, and yes, that is the first thought that we had, but it's for the entire community. So in closing, I just want to say this is just the beginning of our work. This is just the beginning of our work. We are in the driver's wheel, our community. We are going to rise up and make a change for ourselves. We need help, but we have to stand up first. And we have to do what's right. And we have to take the leadership to say what we need in our community, how it should be done, and put our hands to the wheel to make sure that it happens. So this is the first impactful change. We're going to be challenged to begin work across the street. We got a grant from the Federal Home Loan Bank to begin to do housing and economic development. We also want to ensure that there are jobs attached to that. And we just want to make sure that our community is a better place to live. Thank you, everyone, for your assistance in making this happen. God bless you. Right this time, we're going to, OK. At this time, we're going to introduce, I have the pleasure of introducing the mayor of the city of Wilmington, who has been on the front line for this project. And we are very thankful that when he came into office, we began to see the movement of this project, which had been delayed for about two years. So we want to acknowledge that public, okay. publicly, <laughs> Mayor Mike Pazicki. Yeah. Lottie, oh Lottie, she figured it out. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, thank you, Lottie. Thank you so many uh, of the fine people who are responsible for this. And um, so I had a few thoughts coming up here. First of all, everybody should get over here and walk around on this spongy surface, you know. And it reminded me <clears throat> that. When Bob Marshall and I were growing up 100 years ago, when you fell off the swing, you landed on <laughs> like rock hard dirt with stones in it. Uh, these, kids, these kids are in good shape because you can't get hurt falling on these things. The second thought I had was the old cliche about every, every journey of a thousand miles begins with one, one small step. And there have been other things that have happened, but Lottie reminds us there's not been a lot of investment down here in years, and maybe this is just that one step. And Lottie uh, referred to a project, I'm not sure everybody picked it up, but right across the street here, this whole block ought to be the next step. This whole block ought to be a next signature project yeah. Yeah. that signals to the world, that signals to our entire community that we are gonna change the direction of this side of town this side of town which has had more than its share of problems. And uh, I want all of you to know that your city, your city stands shoulder to shoulder with you. I'm really happy to see our WPD here, of Wilmington's finest, and I will tell you, I think everybody has stopped me every single day to talk about how our officers are out on the streets, they're walking, they're engaging the public, they're changing the, way, the relationship between our police officers and our community because we want to build that relationship and we want our, our communities to flourish as a result. So uh, thank you all for this, uh, for this great day. You know, it's funny how people don't understand how you make a big deal about a small park like this, but this is going to change this community. It's a signal. It's a signal to everybody that we're going to change the direction of our future on this side of town. Thank you all very much. And now I'd like to introduce the only guy out here who's almost my age, Bobby Marshall. <laughs> Not quite. Thank you, Mike, Mayor, Mike, all those who are in attendance here today. I've got a couple ideas, but the first thing I need to know for the preteens over here, what do you think of the park? Do you like the park? Uh, don't. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Oh. Listen, thank you. It's been a great community effort. They're ready, to, ready to take over. It's been a great community effort. I commend the mayor, Kevin Kelly, 
Pastor Lottie and all those that have been, been involved, Adele, I know, uh, and I could go around the, the group here, but we did outstanding work. Uh, I remember here recently, you know, it's the team effort. State, city, the private sector, the banks. I see Jeff uh, from WSFS here. Kevin did a great job as director of parks. And it's all about a team effort. And the mayor had it right. It's mile one. But we're, he and Kevin and the council, Yolanda and others, are going to work to move this city forward. And I commend the mayor and the new chief because I see the Wilmington PD out of their cars visible yeah. in our city. Yeah. And last but not least, I want to commend, you know, I gave CEO of Rock Solid Construction back, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago, gave him a challenge because we didn't want to wait till September, October to get the park open. And Norman went to work, Norman Oliver, CEO, Rock Solid Construction, and made it happen. So Norman, thank you. Appreciate the good work. And Kevin, thank you. Kevin Kelly did a great job in getting our city organized and getting the parks cleaned up and, and moving forward. So thank you, God bless. And kids, you go ahead and enjoy it while we do all the talking here. Thank you. And, and I want to introduce uh, a very important key member of our state government who came here, uh, a resident of Delaware, worked in, in the uh, federal level of environmental work. And Governor Carney, who's doing a great job, but ran into a little bit of a hurdle that we're going to deal with when we get back to Dover in January. But uh, Sean Garvin's doing a great job, and he is Delaware's Secretary of Environmental Control and Natural Resources. Sean. Thank you very much, Senator. Um, it really is a pleasure to be here. Uh, you look around, and, and the pastor did a great job at, at talking about all of the partners that really kind of put this together and, and the other two parks that we're looking at. Uh, the state of Delaware is just uh, proud to be one of those many partners. Uh, when Governor Carney came into office, he said to all of his cabinet, uh, his, his focus was rebuilding Delaware's economy uh, and investing in our communities. And there's nothing more tangible of investing in our communities than this park here. Uh, the mayor, uh, you've been doing a tremendous job. Uh, the first day, I think it was the second day I became secretary, I had to follow papers at the, uh, at the county recorder of deeds, and I ran into the mayor on the way in, and the first thing I said to the mayor is, uh, and I echoed it to Kevin Kelly a few days later, uh, the state wants to look for every opportunity to partner with the city of Wilmington to invest in our communities, to invest in our people. Uh, and that's why I'm so proud to be here. That's why I'm proud that the state uh, has some uh, resources that we've put into this effort. Um, but mainly I'm here because of the kids. Uh, our job and responsibility is making sure we're taking care of them. All that we do is focused on, is focused on quality of life. Um, and when you look at parks like this, if you look at investments in the community, if you look at Wilmington police getting out of their cars, engaging with the community, uh, we have representatives here from our congressional delegation, Senator Carper, Senator Coons, uh, Representative Blunt Rochester. Uh, the focus of every Delaware elected official, every one of us who uh, resides in cabinets, uh, who re resides in the legislative branches, to take care of our kids and take care of our communities. And so the state is very proud to be here. Congratulations, and I continue to look for opportunities for us to make investments in the city of Wilmington. Right. Now, with that, I have the pleasure of introducing, um, well, she's your city council member, but she really wanted to stress that she's here representing the community. She's here as a community member, and I want to introduce Yolanda McCoy. Good morning. So, of course, I, this one. Okay, thank you. All right, so good morning. I am Yolanda McCoy, Councilwoman of the 6th District. But um, I've actually made 5th and 7th my home as well. 
We've done a lot of community engagement in this area when it came to these parks. And I just want to thank the community for never giving up hope on us when it came to organizing, when it came to the design, when it came to fundraising, and the implementation when it, to, when it came to these parks here. I am so happy that you did not lose hope when it came to these parks. I used to walk these neighborhoods time and time again, and people would tell me all the time, what's going on with our parks? <laughs> and I'm like, it's coming. Please be patient. I thank you so much for your patience because without you, this design wouldn't have happened. Without you, the city wouldn't have realized that this is something that had to happen, that you were not going to go anywhere, that you were going to stand firm and make certain that you got the park that your children deserved. And also that uh, know that when your children play on this park, that you actually had some part of it, that you made certain that you had a safe space for your children. And, um, and I just congratulate you all. I'm so glad to see that you were able to make it here. I'm like, even though I'm no longer part of West Side Girls Together, I'm, I'm still here. And I'm like, and I'm not going anywhere. And I'll be sending my son over here to play on these parks. I really didn't have much more to say. Just thank you for allowing us to do this and that this is one of many. And please be patient with West Side Girls because there's more to come. All right, now we have a couple of uh, items available. Thank you all for being here. We're going to do a ribbon cutting, and then you can play on the equipment. So thanks so much.